Hey guys, Kevin Van here with Competitive Edge Physical Therapy. We're here reviewing force plate analysis with a drop jump. Here you can see in this picture that the knees are forward of the toes and there is an upright trunk. You can see that in the skeletal avatar and in the real live model. As he goes through the depth jump, through the counter movement jump and back down, you'll see a very brief loading response with most of the loading occurring in the knee versus any movement of the hip or the trunk. This is an initial test done at about eight months post-op ACL reconstruction. And we're trying to assess what the overall loading response is through the active muscular system in the quadriceps, glutes, and calves, as well as incorporating a proper trunk lean. Here we can see it is all happening through the knee joints with very little active shock absorption and a high amount of passive shock absorption with a total landing newtons of approximately 3,000 newtons or greater through the jumps tested. And this was test done at about 7 to 8 months post-op. Now closer to a year post-op, here's the follow-up jump. What we're going to see here, as we watch it in slow motion, as the feet touch the ground, you're going to see a hip hinge occur. The buttocks goes back behind the body, chest comes forward. That's an excellent active hip dominant shock absorption movement for a depth jump. Here's the counter movement jump up, and as this athlete comes down, you're going to see again that hip already start to move backwards, and as it moves back, it provides a proper ratio of glute to quadricep usage. As we spin the avatar around, you can see from every angle the proper alignment, the equidistance between the left and right leg, the proper trunk lean forward, and the proper hip hinge behind the body. This is an excellent drop jump compared to the first round of testing. What we're also going to see here as we continue on is that the hip hinge occurs early in the motion. Even before the feet touch the ground, the buttocks is already going backwards. This is preparing the body for proper shock absorption. As the buttocks goes back, knees bend, and the trunk comes forward. These are all components of proper hip dominant landing, and the knees are behind the toes. This is essential for basketball athletes, volleyball athletes, and those that undergo repetitive uh, jumping in their sport. Additionally, we want this shock absorption pattern to be honed in for any athletic event since we do not want the knees to be the gross movers in the shock absorption process. Now, as we look at the landing forces graph, we see that the average is actually 2,000 newtons or less, and this equals a one-third decrease in overall landing forces, a huge difference in only a matter of months with proper training of visual feedback with the force plate and real-time analysis of landing forces as well as video.